you boy DJ Academics and check it out because I've never seen this before, okay? Because Meek Mill name on the street is worth nothing, okay? To keep it real, his name is a punchline, right? He's like a goddamn dirty washcloth. People are using him. You just toss him all over the place. He's the butt of every fucking joke. Not only that, he's like the roadkill of hip hop. Everybody drives by and says, God damn, he got fucked up. Now, it's just crazy to me, man, how quick people just switch up on you. I mean, everybody was riding with him when he was going in on Joe Button when he was threatening to not only beat up, but also destroy Joe Button a couple months ago, right? Everybody was rocking with Meek, but now everybody's laughing at him, right? But Meek Mill, he's not going to go out without a fight. He's announced that Dream Chasers 4, the mixtape is coming soon, and there's no timeline when it's going to come out, so he didn't give a date. But he did put up a couple Instagram videos that kind of showed him previewing some songs, okay? Rumor is, and I'm, I'm getting some good sources on this, that he's supposed to be addressing a lot of things that's been going on the last couple of months, including his beef with Drake. I'm not sure if it's indirectly or directly, but even in the Instagram video, he does say, they said I took a loss, but I made an M in a week or something like that. However, right, Dream Chasers 4 is coming soon. Uh, if I had to give a guess, I'd probably say end of the year, if not probably the beginning of 2016 unless he tries to come a little bit early and go like thanksgiving with it or something like that which i would just say do not do it okay do not do it don't go halloween don't go thanksgiving wait till 2015 is over with write it off in the history books and write it off in taxes okay all the money you just write it off okay now the songs that he previewed man just my opinion because he previewed one with our yg and he previewed some other songs i'm not gonna lie sounds pretty flames to me if you are unbiased and you like meek mills content before i mean if you don't like him at all before and after you're probably gonna say it's whack but if you like meek mills content before this whole thing with drake you're probably gonna say listen sounds decent you would want to listen okay now now, it's not going to be for everybody, but the reason why I like when Meek raps, and not only raps, just when he's in hip-hop, period, is because people like him, Waka Flocka, The Game, they represent a certain type of audience that still exists in hip-hop. They represent that quote-unquote rugged street element that you just got to respect, and really, he's like the only one on the East Coast that's really upholding that flag, so I'm really rooting for him because you got to imagine, man, not everybody's into drug addict raps, okay, not into being lean up or fiend out i mean of course there's a huge group obviously right but not everybody wants the songs you can listen to while you're studying for your physics test in college okay people want some street shit and people think that meek mill brings it okay the yelling the shouting you're gonna have to get over it okay so i'm hoping he actually comes around and deliver because if he does not deliver this is the last opportunity right if he comes out he puts out something that's a certified motherfucking dud nothing more than a goddamn bang shot into the recycle bin meek mill is definitely and i can tell you this now He's going back to jail because from his lens, even though he started the whole situation, he's seen money, food, opportunity, a career being taken away from him. And he probably says, listen, man, if my career is finished, man, I got to literally start living my raps. I got to fuck a nigga up. I got to kill a nigga. Or maybe he just says he got to release that Nicki Minaj sex tape. I would want to see that shit, okay? I'm hoping if it's all over, release that Nicki Minaj sex tape, okay? So his mixtape has got to be better than his album. If his mixtape ain't better than his album, it's over, okay? He got to put out a mixtape that people said, this is that nigga. And we've seen before, when people are under pressure, sometimes they meet expectations or sometimes they just crumble, fall and go away. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. Are you willing to give Meek Mill another chance? Or you're saying, hell nah, it's over. Okay? You comment. Tell me if it's over or you're willing to give him a chance to at least rock with him. He definitely took an L. We can't dispute the L. But we could actually dispute if his career is over. I'm out.